let's start with diverse texts and um, inclusive texts why are they so important so um i always go back to this as my core value and why about stories i think it's just the best way to sum it up stories are the most important thing in the world because it makes us human um, and i think by sharing diverse texts we're building a, a community of readers that really understand each other um, not just in terms of like analyzing a text and reading it for meaning and in the sense of like inference and all of that stuff but it's also in the case of we want to understand each other as human beings especially like with everything that's gone on this year as well i just think it's even more important um so i'm going to go into a little bit more of why so i think a lot of us probably have seen this but the clpe did um a few surveys the first one being in 2018 when they realized that diversity was an issue in children's literature um the fact that there wasn't meant much of it um they then did the following year another survey and as you can see so four percent of the children's books published in 2017 featured BAME that had then risen from four to seven percent so obviously a slight increase um but it can be better and it is it's getting better um one of the things that really struck me because when I realized sort of just how it's not very great um, was reading some work by Darren Chetty and I would suggest all of you do the same. He's got so many blogs and so e just excellent pieces of writing where he really critically analyzes children's literature. Um, and when I started leading English, it was probably one of the best things that I'd read in terms of what I wanted to promote um, in terms of what we're bringing into school for children. So when we think about the canon of classics for children, they tend to be of a time period um, you know, British Empire, colonialism, and therefore you're going to have specific representations of children. You're not necessarily going to have a representation of all children. And so his idea was branching on about this version of reality. If we're only ever going to give them the same perspective, in essence, we're widening the imagination gap. We're not giving the children enough to imagine different realities, different cultures, different experiences, which in essence is what story is meant to do it's meant to bridge that understanding between human beings but if we're only ever giving the children and i'm thinking about the canons of classics that we have and there's nothing wrong with them because they are beautiful texts and i think that does need to be said but at the same time if you're only ever giving the child one version of reality based in a time period that is very different to what we have now mm. how are we enabling children to engage with empathy to engage socially with difference um, and being okay with that. So diverse texts, where can you find them? Um, there are loads and loads of places where you can get them. The CRPE is probably one of the best places to go in terms of research, in terms of um, up-to-date research, up-to-date book recommendations. They've got lots of planning and things um, and they look at themes really well and bridge in books that way. It's just a really good um, resource for teachers. Tiny Owl Publishing is very close to my heart. Um, they are probably one of the best independent publishers out there in terms of really emphasizing the authenticity behind their books. Every single one of their books is written by an author from a different cultural perspective than you probably you know, that you go into, you know, maybe not getting other publishers. So I think they're really, really good for that. Um, you know, from Persian myths to um African tales to just they're just beautiful books really high quality and multicultural in an authentic sense mm -hmm. um, and then again another really good um source of really just excellent books I can't champion them enough um we've also got teachers and educators on Twitter and we're really lucky with how generous people are so Matt Tobin's um Padlet of Books is excellent. Benny Carr has just got a book out about diversity as well. And Miss Newton on Twitter, again, she's brought lots and lots of books together. So it's all really, really good sources of information. And then from that, you'll find other people and other um, inspiring publishers that will help you on your way. So hi, so we know about the why, we know about the where, how. Flood your school with books. Um, one thing that I wanted to make sure I did was reimagine that canon of classics. So going back to Darren Chetty's analysis of the canon of classics that we have for children. The Secret Garden is beautiful. It really, really is. But how can we branch away from that? Are there other versions of a garden, you know, a more exotic version of a garden? So like Phoenix of Persia is a beautiful example of a, another 
type of reality for children to enter in another spectrum of experience for them to see um, when we're looking at fairy tales can we bring in other types of fairy tales from different times from different cultures there's many versions of cinderella there are many versions of red riding hood there are many versions of snow white um thinking about refugee stories thinking about um how animals can be used in a different way as well so leaf is probably one of the best books that i've ever come across in terms of understanding difference um, and how you know you react to it so it could it be out of fear is it out of compassion so reimagining the canon of classics to close the imagination gap um, and then here is just another screenshot of just loads of other books that you should just flood into your school um, i just want to make a point about the scholastic voices series as well when we're thinking about stories from a historical point of view again it tends to be from the winner's point of view or from a you know from the white british point of view these scholastic books here so the victorian story is based on um diverse versions of the same historical viewpoint so we've got barley Brown, um, Dunkirk. we've got um a, you know black girls version of what it was like during tudor times victorian times so those scholastic series books are really really good and i really would suggest having those in schools as well um but that's it really and um, just making sure that you know when we're um thinking about what we're you know enabling our children to understand we want to make sure that it's bridging it's bridging experiences i hope that all made sense i really do it did it made a lot of sense thank you so much